Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and we're gonna go through another uh, market weekly analysis video. And as usual, we'll start off with the indices. So we'll start off with SPY. So let's take a look at the daily chart first. Um, SPY had a really good rally last week, right? Um, we got through that 444 resistance level, which was very key. And um, yeah, we got all the way up to that 453 resistance level. And on Friday, we rejected that level, and now we're consolidating. So we've been consolidating for like the last three-ish days. But more consolidation would be a good thing here. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. So on the weekly chart, <clears throat> first major thing that we need to take a note of is that this trend line has been holding really, really well. So that's a very good positive, right? Um, so the uptrend is still intact for the year. This that uptrend did get violated, but um, it's not a big deal because this is the major one. This has been there for almost a year now, around 10 months, 11 months. But yeah, this is the major trend line that we were looking at, and the uptrend has been holding all year long. And we got a really nice balance off it the last two weeks, right? And uh, yeah, now we're testing that 453 resistance level. We did get above that a um, couple weeks ago, and then we rejected pretty hard. So we'll see what happens this time. But overall, this is looking like really healthy action. And I think, um, I've been saying this for the last couple of weeks, but I think there's a very good chance that we could just chop around and wait for this trend line to like get tighter and tighter and then eventually see a big move up or down. But overall, um, yeah, the SPY is acting really, really well and really good bounce this week. Let's take a look at QQQ. Start with the weekly chart first. So QQQ, same thing. The uptrend has been holding really well. Really nice bounce the last two weeks. And this one still has a little bit more room, up to 382. It didn't touch that this week, but um, yeah, overall really good, really good action. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So on the daily, it does look a little bit extended since it did have like four up days in a row, basically. Um, Friday was down, but just slightly, but yeah, more consolidation here would be a good thing and uh, you know overall i would say that the qqq is definitely very bullish here worst case scenario i think we just chop around for a little bit best case scenario we break out immediately and just continue running um but yeah i think there's a very good chance that we'll just consolidate for a while and wait for this trend line to get tighter and tighter with the price and then eventually break out but overall the indices look really, really healthy and yeah, really strong action from both this week. Now we'll take a look at the big cap tech stocks. Start off with Apple. Apple had a very strong bounce this week and it closed near ties, so that's a very bullish sign. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, it formed a really nice flag last week and then this week it just broke out. Um, but yeah, really nice action from Apple and it's yeah, it's getting pretty close to filling that gap. So should see some resistance around that 190, 191 level. But other than that, Apple's acting really well. Next up, we'll take a look at AMD. So AMD finally reclaimed that 107 support level. So that's a very good thing. And it's been consolidating for almost like three months, two months now. Um, but yeah, it's been forming this um, flag here. And yeah, it's getting tighter and tighter. And a couple more weeks of consult or a couple more days of consolidation, they could potentially see a big breakout. This one had a really nice rally in the start of the year. Started off at 64, went all the way up to 130, but it's been consolidating ever since. So if this one does break, it could see a pretty big move again. But yeah, it's forming a pretty nice flag on the weekly, and this looks really good. Um, yeah, overall, AMD looks pretty good. You just want to see it tighten up a little bit more, and this could be ready to go. Next up, let's take a look at Amazon. So Amazon has been forming a bull flag on the weekly for a couple weeks now. Tried to break out, but rejected. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Oops. Yeah, I tried to break out, but on Friday... It was uh, it consolidated, but it did close above that trend line, so that is a good sign. So I think, I think, 
Amazon's really simple here. I think the next resistance level is 143.5. And it should be able to hit that pretty soon. Um, yeah, overall, Amazon looks good. It didn't get that much of a rally compared to the other big cap tech stocks this week. But overall, it's still acting really well. And I think it has room to 143.5. Next up, we'll take a look at Google. So Google had a really nice breakout this week, right? It tried to break out last week, but rejected. And this week, it got followed through. And uh, yeah, it got all the way up to that 136 level. So really, really good action on Google. Take a look at the daily chart. It doesn't look that great on the daily chart because it looks like it's like a slow grind up, but very strong move from the lowest to, or from the start of this week to the end of this week and yeah it did close above that 136 level so that's a very good sign but overall google looks really good here and i think it can next resistance level is basically all-time highs got some resistance around that 144 level and then next level is all-time highs but yeah google looks really really good here next up meta so Meta lost its uptrend a couple weeks ago, and it's getting a bounce now. And it looks good, but let's see if we can, if it can actually reclaim that trend line. But yeah, Meta had an insanely strong move this year. Went from what lows for it was ninety dollars to three twenty five. So that's a huge move, right? But yeah, Meta looks really good here. Um, I think I think it could consolidate for a bit longer just because it had such a big move right so i don't i think it would be a good idea if it's consolidated for a couple more weeks but meta is acting really well um take a look at the daily chart on the daily chart it looks a little bit more choppy but uh yeah next resistance level is 305 and next support level is 289 so for now it's range bound if it breaks 305 then it's bullish if it breaks 289 then it's bearish and until then, it could just chop around for a little bit longer. Overall, good action. Next up, Microsoft. So Microsoft also lost its downtrend, uptrend and tried to bounce off, tried to reclaim it last week. And then this week, uh, it formed an inside candle. So we'll see what happens next week. There's a good chance that it could break out, make a, a bigger move up next week. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So on the daily chart, it looks pretty simple. It looks like resistance at that 344 level and support at that 324 level. And it looks range bound, just like meta. So bullish above 344 and then bearish under 324. But yeah, uh, Microsoft looks like it's going to be consolidating for a while, just building a base, which is good action, which is good action since it had such a big move this year. So that's perfectly normal. Next up, Netflix. So Netflix has been forming this base for quite some time now. Started all the way in July, uh, in back in June, and uh, yeah, it's been consolidating ever since. It's been range bound too. It's it keeps rejecting around that 448, 450 level, and it keeps bouncing at that 420 level. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's been pretty tight now, or it's been consolidating for quite some time now, so I think it could be ready for a bigger move up. Overall, really good action on Netflix as well. Yeah, very clear resistance level at that 448, so if you can break that, then it would be bullish. And if it breaks that 419 level, then it's bearish, as simple as that. But yeah, Netflix also does look pretty good. And then we have NVIDIA. So NVIDIA has been holding up really well. It gapped up on earnings and then got sold into, but got a really nice bounce this week. And currently we're just uh, flagging under that 500 level. So that's a very key level, uh, psychological level as well. But yeah, I think there's a good chance that we could just consolidate for a little bit more. So we'll form some sort of bull flag and then break out. So yeah, if we can get more consolidation around this range, then that would be a good thing. But overall, um, NVIDIA is extremely, extremely bullish. Um, if there's one stock that you want to be bullish on, it's NVIDIA for sure. Strongest stock in the market right now, current market leader. Um, but yeah, overall, this is top quality stock and uh, her top quality name. But um, yeah, very bullish on it, but you just want to see more consolidation first, ideally.
All right, now let's, oh wait, and then we also have Tesla. So Tesla got a really nice move um, last week, but on Friday it pulled back in pretty hard. So we'll see how it handles that. A very clear resistance level at that 259 level. So if it can take that out, then I would want to be bullish on it. If it loses that 240 level, then uh, there's a good chance that it can just be back to chop or um, it can be bearish again and pull back down to 214. But uh, yeah, these are the key levels. So I would only be bullish on Tesla if it can reclaim that 259 level. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the big cap tech stocks. Um, we'll take a look at a few individual names that have been acting well. First one being Affirm. Affirm had a really nice rally. They had a uh, they had a big gap up with uh, big volume. And ever since then, just had a really nice rally. So this one's definitely on watch now. Take a look at the weekly chart. It's been building a really nice base for a long time now. I'll remove these lines. So it's been building this base now. And yeah, it's been acting pretty well. Really nice volume the last two weeks. Uh, and we'll see if we can get a breakout here. This one has a lot of potential because this one's a fast mover. And yeah, it used to be 176 right? And now it's $22. So this one definitely has a lot of potential to run. Um, definitely one that you want to keep your eyes on. Overall, really good action, and I think it could see a bigger breakout in the couple week in the in the coming weeks if we can get some consolidation. Next up, we'll take a look at Carvana. So I called this out last week. Said it was forming a pretty nice bull flag, and then I was able to buy on. Uh, I was able to buy this Monday, and you know, I took some profits here. Because it, it made a pretty big move in a short period of time, but uh, this one's acting incredibly well. It's actually forming a little flag again here, consolidating under that 51.3 level. But yeah, this one's acting incredibly well and forming another flag. So it could be another buy setup, but ideally you want to wait for some consolidation because it already had such a big move. But overall, really good action on this name. Um, and again, it, it remains to be a top watch for the coming week once again. I O N Q. This stock is um, one of the best stocks in like 2023. This one had an insane run. Started all the way from three dollars ish to twenty dollars. So yeah, pretty insane move. And it's flagging here currently. So I'm watching this. If it can take that 17 point, 17 point like seven five ish level, then there's a good chance that this can um, take off once again. I think. Yeah, 17.75 ish. If it can take that out, then there's a good chance that it'll make a move back to $20. But yeah, this one's a top watch. Really, really strong name. And uh, yeah, definitely keep your eye on this one. And then this one, SMCI. This is also in the same sector as IONQ. And this one also had a very, very strong run this year. Like, yeah, look at that move, right? It was what? Used to be. $80 and then highs of this year 357 so very very impressive move and this one is looking like it wants to make a break here resistance at that 283 level so if it can take that out very good chance that will run first target being 297 and then it could gap fill all the way up to 340 but yeah this one also moves very nicely and it's definitely one that you want to keep your eye on next up shop so this one had a really nice gap up this week. And uh, yeah, it's it's been forming this space for quite some time now. So let me draw the space. So there's some resistance here. Or there was some resistance there. But it's been forming a long base, right? So this is all one big base. And it's been forming the space for almost four months now. So this is good action. If it can get if it can start to form some sort of like bull flag. I would definitely be keeping my eye on this one, but overall, really good action. Take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah, it's been consolidating for quite some time now in between this range. So if you can break that 70, then 70 resistance level, then it could be a pretty nice run. Overall, really good action on Shopify. Um, next up, we'll take a look at... yeah i think that's pretty much all i got for this for uh, next week we'll just take a look at arkk uh, take a look at the daily chart 
So this one had a really nice rally this week, right? And it's been holding really strong. It's definitely a little bit extended here now, and you want to see some consolidation. But after that consolidation, I think very good chance that we see that 44.5 level break again, and then this one continues to rally hard. But yeah, again, this one is very, very beaten down. So if you take a look at the weekly chart, extremely beaten down. And it's been forming a base for quite some time now. So this one has a lot of potential as well. So if you can take out that 44.5 level, next resistance being 50, 51 um, resistance, and then you could see a really big breakout from there. But overall, this one's acting pretty, it acted pretty well this week, and it got a nice bounce off that trend line, so good action there. But yeah, keep it keep or keeping this one on watch for next week if it breaks that 44.5 level. But overall, really good action this week, and um, yeah, a lot of names are starting to set up again, and yeah, I'm very optimistic for the upcoming weeks. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in.